In the 1940s, the car industry came to a crashing halt during the war. Afterwards, car makers hurried to stake their claim on the new and growing market. And one man changed the game by creating the car of his dreams. Ferry Porsche said I was looking for the sports car of my dreams and I couldn't find it, so I built one. So he created this car in his vision, and boy, did he do a good job. And they bring this bloody Porsche out, and it's, to it's totally off the wall because it's, you know, air-cooled, it's four cylinders, and it's sort of built very light and very nimble. You look at uh, American cars in particular, they're gigantic, you know, there's seven tons of metal wrapped around you, and they're as long as a city block. And then you look at the 356 and you go, what, what's this? <laughs> this is this beautiful little sports car that's peppy and fast, this wonderful sensation of speed without being terrifyingly fast, but that handles uh, far better than anything else that's being built around that time. The 356 was leading the way for Porsche. If you look at the design, you can see the whole Porsche design language, the engine, of course, in the back, the typical Porsche silhouette. We have lightweight building, we have all day usability. And the 356 is also a car which you can use on the racetrack, so you can win on Sunday and drive on Monday. And it's reliable. That was the remarkable thing about it. People were used to cars breaking every time they drove up. I mean, you know, they used to talk about the British products as being, you know, operated by Lucas, the night of darkness. There's a purity to the driving experience in this car. It's a very simple, easy, focused driving experience with nothing extra. No power brakes, no power steering, rarely a radio. You pull it, you want the top up, you pull it up. It had nothing it didn't need and everything it did, just, and, and it was geared towards, you know, the, you know, the feeling of driving a car. Everything was around that, and nothing has changed. I mean, Porsche, to this day in the racing, the drivers are what it's about. Usually people see Porsche as a, as a very male brand, but um, it's not true. The very first Porsche customer was a woman when Ferry Porsche wants to start the production of the 356 in Austria and Gmünd, he had to create a budget and for that reason he had to sell the prototype. And this prototype was sold in 1948 to a woman in Zurich. It took until the year 1957 before the car came back to the company and today it's of course one of the most important exhibits in our museum.